discuss, I, I wanted to ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. Why Rolex? What was it that captured you? Because you've become all in on Rolex yeah. and all your points yeah. are usually yeah. justifiable. Right. But what started that? Why? Okay. Um, <coughs> all right. Well, the aesthetic, I think. Uh, I think that the no date sub is probably the best looking watch in the world. Oh, I agree. And, you know, well, that's a pre ceramic, that is. Um, mm -hmm. and, yeah, uh, I and I think as far as uh, in keeping with that aesthetic, but with, with cool functions and just like a cool um, persona is the GMT Master too. So it's really a toss up. I think, you know, if I were looking for the, if I were to say, okay, the most beautiful watch, period, 14060. 14060M, and if I was going to say, well, still close to that aesthetic, not quite as balanced because of the, the Cyclops, because of the date, um, the, the GMT Master II pre ceramic 16710. Um, oh, yeah, and that's just. Yeah, and, wow. and so, you know, I, I've mentioned that I saw one of those watches when I was like an impressionable seven, eight years old, perhaps, and so um, I've always sort of thought that Rolex was, was the best. And then when I kind of got into Rolex, or got into watches, I should say, uh, the watch community sort of feels the same way. I and mean, it really is the benchmark. And when I say the best, I mean, that's what, what does that mean? Yes, there are more uh, elite, uh, uh, fancy, uh, high-end brands, Patek and the, and the Holy Trinity. And, you know, perhaps like these days, uh, a lot of people say that Omega's perhaps making better watches and giving me more for your money. I think they are. But Rolex uh, took us to where we are and they still make great watches and, and uh, yes, the aesthetic. And you know, when you, when you collect watches uh, and you collect Rolex watches, because they retain their value, I think you can have more, you can justify more. So if I were a mega guy, right, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't have four Omegas. Right, because if I were to get out, I think I would. I would have too much capital in, invested in in Omega, but I can <coughs> justify it a bit more with Rolex because if I get out of my watches tomorrow, then I can make, you know, a couple grand on each of my pieces. I can, I can, you know, factoring in even the service costs, I can get out of it, make a bit of money, and and, yes, and I would, be, it, it, you know, so particularly on this. You there's no question. You bought it in the four range. Yeah, I bought it for four thousand two hundred USD, <coughs> and it came with box, no papers. Now I have service papers for it, and uh, yeah. So it's I know kinda, people. Yeah. If I can just uh -huh. interrupt for a moment, I know people that have multiple Omegas. Mm -hmm. The ones that bought it retail, if they get out, they're in deep. They're in deep doo doo. Mm -hmm. But I know some they bought used. They're buying the Planet Oceans, their original Seamaster 300s, and they're getting them for like half retail. Mm -hmm. They can get out and not lose money. They can't make money, but at least they won't lose. Right. With Rolex, you it's almost like you can't lose. Yeah, I mean, I think if I was an Omega guy, I probably would be a, a, a one or two watch at a time guy, and I would, I would flip and, you know, that kind of thing. But, you know, with Rolex, you kind of want to hold on to them. And it's sort of like, it's interesting because it's like having a bit of stock. Because when you when you when you shop and, and you can see you know what what the piece you have is is going for, it's kind of interesting. I mean, I've have slowly seen the prices rise on the GMT Master Twos, pretty much all of the, the watches, and they're and it's, going way up. Yeah, and it's sort of an interesting thing. But you know, <coughs> Rolex is very unique. I think Rolex and Pat Patek are are the two companies that that they they. I don't know if I would say you should invest them in them. Probably not, right? A lot of people say you shouldn't invest not in watches. Right but, but you look at them like investments, and, and they, they work like investments. And are there better investments out there? I'm sure, I'm sure. But if you're a watch guy and you're gonna pour your money into a watch, you, you, know, you, you, you can make a lot worse decisions than say a Patek or, or Rolex, and so that's a huge factor. If Rolex were just like uh, Omega, um, and you know you you could get that watch for still four or or because it's a little older three now. Um, I don't know. I would probably have more Rolexes. Uh, I'm sure you would. But uh, but I yeah it it wouldn't be as interesting.